Hi guys, welcome to the discussion of the quiz which was conducted today at 8 p.m. on my telegram quiz. First question, which is the best to remove third factor? Now guys, look into the option. Randomization is a method to remove third factor, yes. Matching is a method to remove third factor, yes. Stratification is a method to remove third factor, yes. Now look into option number four. They have given stratified randomization. So basically, randomization is like rice. Stratification is like dal. Stratified randomization is like khichdi. Which is better? Khichdi is separate rice and dal. So that's the reason stratified randomization is the best. So answer to this question was option number four. I hope I'm clear with this. Okay. Which of the following criterion were addressed in the SCCM model of causation? What is this SCCM? Sufficient cause component model. This was a INICT November 2022 question. Okay. Now guys, we have the standard doll and hill criteria. In the standard doll and hill criteria, there is one of the criteria called as specificity which they mention that one risk factor causes one disease. Now, this is not true for non-communicable diseases. And that is the reason SCCM model, which was given by Rothman in 1976, he addressed this problem of specificity. So, Rothman said that even in infectious disease, you do not have a one-to-one -one relationship that is not one risk factor causes one disease. And he said, look into HIV. See, HIV does not ha happen only by HIV virus. You should have unprotected intercourse, high risk sexual behavior, there should be trauma, HIV virus, all together will form a sufficient cause to cause the disease. And this is represented by the pie chart. AIMS people had given the pie chart. So students are very happy. Option metha SCCM model. So answer to this question is specificity. Yes, guys? Okay. Now, which study design is best for evidence? Now, the highest level of evidence is systematic review, meta-analysis. Whereas the highest for causality is double-blind RCT. Highest for temporality is cohort. Shabdo mein khona nahi hai. If odds ratio is minus one, what does it mean? Wrong calculation. Odds ratio, relative risk can never ever be negative. Yes, they can be less than 1, but not in the negative range. Yes. Which is the best to compare the mortality rates among Indians and Russians? See, Indians and Russians are two different population. And that is the reason to compare two different population. We use a standardized death rate. And the most common standardized death rate is age standardized death rate. So answer to this question was option number B. Now, which is the most important indicator of disease burden out of the options? It is prevalence. If you talk about mortality indicators, it is proportional mortality rate. Morbidity indicator, it is prevalence. Step ladder pattern is used to see the curve of Kaplan near curve is a typical step ladder pattern. It is typically seen for survival curve. So it is a step ladder pattern. Case acts as his own control in. This was a NICT question where the answer was case crossover. Yes, but it is also seen in a special type of clinical trials. The pre post clinical trials before quitting smoking. What was my respiratory function after quitting smoking for one year? What is my respiratory function? So I am acting as my own control. What is a factorial trial? Two different interventions are tested in a single trial. Unplanned crossover, people take whatever intervention they want. Parallel, the standard half people intervention, half people placebo. Most important component of RCT is randomization. It is the art of clinical trial. So randomization is actually random allocation. Yes. Now, no explanation to this. Thank you guys. I hope you have enjoyed the quiz. Bye-bye. See you. Meet you tomorrow again on my Telegram channel. Bye-bye.